closer. Come closer. It's curly hair season. Yeah. Baby, when I say the spring and summer, it's about to be looking real good. It's curly season, girls. It's curly season. And if you're ready for curly season, What is up you guys it is me tanisha and i'm back with another video hey girl hey hey girl in this video we will be talking about this wig right here this is a love me hair's tiktok viral shaggy wig and y'all i just had to laugh because yeah but this is how she comes straight out of the box this is how it looks it is bouncy and cute and not too much on the white lips baby i'm finna go get me some water right now and i'm gonna be back now this is the construction of the cap. You do not have to worry about lace, any extra, extra, extra work as far as the wig goes with the construction. The adjustable band, so you do not have to use anything extra to hold it down. And that is perfect. So y'all know I am real big on shampooing your wig before you wear them. And with that, Love Me Hair has come out with their wig renewal shampoo and conditioner. And baby, it is awesome. So step one, I just go in with a basin and I just rinse my wig out. I rinse it out as much as I can before I actually apply the shampoo and conditioner. And as you can see, this is what comes on your wigs. This is what is in your wigs when you first get them out of the box. This is why a lot of people's face break out and all that extra stuff. Love Me Hair is real good at customizing their wigs, but at the same time, it is just best that you shampoo your wigs, especially your curly wigs that you do not have to customize at first. Now that was my first round. The second round, I go in and I brush it out a little bit more so that we can get deeper into the process of just rinsing out all of the chemicals and all of the little nasty things that are in there that we do not know what is going on. So make sure you do these steps to get the ultimate cleansing in your wigs okay y'all hear me now this is just water sometimes you can add a little bit of vinegar but i was scared because you never know how the curls will turn out if you add a little bit of vinegar in your water but i do go in and i do rinse three times emptying and refilling the basin out three times before i actually go in and do a shampoo and as you're doing this process make sure you have your denim brush to brush through it so that it doesn't get any heavy heavy breakage or shedding in the hair now this hair did shed a little bit but that's typical it's a wig we're gonna be realistic it's not on nobody's scalp and when it is on somebody's scalp it does shed so here we are with this step of actually shampooing the hair you're just gonna take a little bit you don't need a whole whole lot i'll say one or two pumps and just rub that into the hair dip it down to get a little bit more in there and just rub the shampoo into the hair that's all you have to do it's not hard don't go in balling it up because you don't want to have the trouble of having to actually do a whole lot of detangling to your curly wig but just go in rub it in now we're going to do this step about two to three times as well to get extra extra clean now a little bit about the shampoo and conditioner these products are sulfate free they do have a coconut oil formula which leaves your hair soft and shiny at the end of the process which is a very great and as you can see even with shampooing you see how much the water is dirty this is straight out of the packaging. So y'all just be clear to get your full potential out of your wigs. Make sure you shampoo your hair because they do do a lot of processing and that's with every wig company, not just Love Me Hair. So keep that in mind. Every wig that you get from every company, make sure you shampoo and condition your wigs. I'm big on it. 
But right here, I'm just rinsing the shampoo out of the hair. This basin is from either Walmart or Family Dollar or somewhere. If you are one of those people who freak out about washing your hair in the sink, I do recommend getting one of these to shampoo your wigs, specifically for your wigs, because it comes in handy. So just put that on the back end for the girls who like the wigs the most. But as you can see now, after shampooing it that many times, the water is almost clear. So we're gonna go in with our conditioner. Now, I like this conditioner because of the thickness of it. It's not a watery conditioner. It's really kind of moderately, it's thick. I like it. I like it because it gives that moisture. You know your, your wig is gonna get that moisture because of the consistency of this conditioner. All I'm doing is the same steps that I did with the shampoo. Just slightly rub it into almost every strand that you can possibly get it into the, and just keep on rubbing, just keep on rubbing. If you have your denim brush still, or if you have a paddle brush, you're gonna take that and you're gonna brush it through as well. I don't know if I actually showed that still, but that's what you're gonna do. And as you see, I'm still pulling out strands that's not a big deal because my wig is not balding because this hair is very, 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 very full. And you'll see that later on in this video. But don't be scared. Don't freak out, especially with a wig that has no lace. There is no reason why you should be freaking out if your hair is shedding. I know a lot of people love to scream, my wig did not shed. But in reality, all wigs shed. So we're going to keep that in mind. We're going we're gonna to keep that in mind. All wigs shed. If you don't listen to nobody else, please listen to me and remember that all wigs do shed just like our real hair. It sheds. So after I have let that sit on for my first round, well, I haven't let it sit on. Let me let me backtrack. After I have rubbed that through, I just go in and I dip it to do like a little slight rinse to my wig. And then I go in a second round and I do put more on there. But this is how it looks after the first dip in the first round. And as you can see, look at that. Like, look at into those curls. They are, they, they starting to pop. But I do do that two times. Now this little contraption has been a godsend for my wigs. I will link this into my Amazon store, but all you do is sit your wig on the top of here after you have inserted the blow dryer into the mouth and just turn it on and let her rip. Oh, and then you do, yeah, you do do this part. You just clamp that part down just to keep it on, but that's self-explanatory. But for the most part, you just sit your wig up here you turn your blow dryer on and you let her dry, let her dry, let her dry. Now, this was my first time ever using this thing. And I did not expect what I got from this. I had seen it a few times, but this saves you a lot of time from actually having to stand there and blow dry your wig. Also, it blow dries your wig from the inside out which is really, really good. Cause you know, a lot of times when we have wigs, we blow dry it and we're mainly blow drying the outside. We never, well, some of us never really blow dry the inside really, really good. But this thing knocks the whole process out. You can just put that in there and go move on to something else. So I really, really like this. I do recommend this. I will link this in my description box. Make sure you guys who have a lot of wigs and you know you need to wash them y'all run down there and go get this but so far so good as you can see the curls are popping on this wig and she ain't even all the way dry yet so y'all just get into it again now this is like halfway into it and you can see the wig is getting fuller and fuller and the curls are starting to form even more i will suggest that you do scrunch your curls scrunch them up really really good throughout the process to maintain the curly form of it and that's another thing why i liked this contraption because you don't lose the form of your curls because of the heat or the air blowing really hard from the blow dryer so yeah and as you can see i'm rotating it too and it's getting fuller and fuller but she is a beautiful get into it and know with this wig 
as far as this portion of it <clears throat> you don't have to cut but i am because you're gonna see what's gonna happen after this part so we're back she is dry she is ready to go so quick quick this is how fast that you can just pop on your wig just that band and flip her back and you're ready to go so what i did like is that they did leave the bangs a little bit longer for adjustment for those who like to do it so girls like me have big foreheads i have a big big forehead but that bang was still a little bit too long for me so i did go in and trim a little bit now i am doing this all wrong please do not crucify me in the comments because yeah i did not learn this in cosmetology school if my cosmetology teachers saw me doing this i promise you i probably would get a whooping at my big age of 33. don't cut your wigs like this be a little bit more careful because baby i was being reckless i was really trying to hurry up and get this done because i had somewhere to be and i really really wanted to wear this wig but yeah don't do this do not do not it is not safe don't do it like how you just see me chopping i probably could have cut a whole finger off and yeah don't do it please don't do it be careful and i didn't have my razor comb that i usually like to use but i'm just trying to figure out how i can cut this bang without destroying the curly factor because as you can see at the top it is not as curly as it is on the bottoms of the hair and it was getting all in my mouth but yeah so i did find out a way to do it and what i did was i just do it like how i would do a regular bang method and i just twisted it around and then cut downward yeah i was tired and i was trying to pray that i didn't cut it too short but i cut downward which gave it a little bit more it still kept the length but it didn't cut too too much off and i started to get a little bit frustrated because i'm like god help me help me lord like help me help me not destroy this wig and i was trying to figure out how low i wanted my bangs or how high i wanted my bangs to go so this is how it looks after i have finally finished the whole cutting effect and you guys just get into the volume what i like is that it really really looks good with the hat especially for the spring so y'all see i got my little bahamas hat when I went on my cruise. So if you are going on a cruise and you plan on looking cute on the beach and you don't want to get braids, but you want a look that you can put on and take off when you're not in your room, this is definitely it for that. As you can see, your curls are still showing in the back. So you don't have to freak out about none of that. And you taking your hat off ain't gonna hurt nothing. Also for my sporty girls, who still want to wear a cute wig that looks more natural, you can get your, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. And y'all can just sports mom mode and look good at the same time or put a fit together and it still looks good. This would definitely be good for that as well. My head is big, so yeah. But, for the girls that got the caps that actually fit on their head, <laughs> these put on the right outfit and it definitely still gives a look. I like this wig because in that look wise, as far as like incorporating different looks, this wig definitely, definitely gives different looks. Um, again, like I said, the only thing, well, like the only thing that I don't like is this, when it comes to this wig. This wig is soft, it's bouncy, especially after using the shampoo. Make sure y'all grab the shampoo and the conditioner. It's made specifically for wigs by a wig company. So they know what they are doing when it comes to this. Um, also 
the mannequin head with the blow dryer will also be in my description box for those who want to see that or want to purchase that and don't know where to get one that will be on my amazon storefront that is where i got that from so everything that you are looking for that's in this video will be on or in the description box i like it i like this look this is a really cute look now i will say i think the only thing that i do not like about it is this part right here this part gives me old school sewing vibes and <laughs> with the closure old school quick weave vibes with the closure and i think that's probably like the only thing that i didn't too much care for i wish this wig did have like the lace closure that they usually put in the wigs like this but all in all i am not I am not complaining because I like the look, period. I also like this look because you can add so many accessories and styles to this and it still kind of like gives a little razzle dazzle. Like you can't do too, too much, but that's the fun, the, the great thing about this wig where you can just put it on and go after you're done shampooing all of the extra things out of it me personally i like the messy look with curls so i guess that's why I'm, that's why i don't have a big 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 problem with the hair because the messy look for me is always giving it's always giving when it comes to uh curly hair as long as it's not too dry too kinky looking like too too like just got out of bed looking i think the look is a giving look so for me i give it an eight out of ten i still recommend it with the eight out of ten but for the most part the girl is great for the spring and the summertime this is definitely giving spring and summer hair so with that being said that's it that's all that i have for this video make sure you go to the description box to order this wig and when you order don't forget to put in your coupon code tanisha for 28 percent off if you're ordering wigs like these if you're ordering the seven by six wigs those get you my coupon code gets you 32 percent off of those wigs so make sure you go down to the description box click those links check my collection out or check the wig out period i will see you guys in the next video because i got somewhere to be and i feel cute so i'll see y'all later bye